we make the very best of a beginner's symbol, the very best of a semi-pro symbol, and the very best of a professional, and we cover all phases within the music business, not just one particular kind of music, not just one particular uh, popular setup. We just go all the way from one end to the other. Sabian decided we would do a continually better quality symbol than anything that was on the market. And that means anything that was on the market. I think we've continued that. My opinion, and in the opinion of many of our people, we're doing that very nicely. Hi, I'm Robert Mason. I'm Sabian's Customer Service Manager, and I'm going to be taking you on a tour through our factory today. The most important thing that we start out with is a casting, which is made from a B20 bronze. This is what we make our cast symbols from, the AA, AAX, HH, and HHX symbols, as well as the XS20. And this is made up of 80% copper, 20% tin. We import the raw materials here. We have a foundry on site, and we mix the alloy. The guys pour this into a crucible and then in turn pour it into a mold so we get castings that look like this. Now these castings can weigh anywhere from a pound to 27 pounds, depending on what we need to make for a specific symbol. The guys will bring them in in the evening, they let them cool overnight, after that they're divided out by weight the next day, and they go into each one of these different storage bins. Then, depending on the particular model we want to make, they go to the proper bin, pull out the right weight casting, and put it on a tray like this and get it ready to go in the oven. The castings go into this oven right here, runs it over 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Castings are heated up until they're red hot, brought out, passed to a rolling mill, caught on a shovel, put back in the oven. This process is repeated anywhere from 7 to 12 times, depending on the specific thickness that they're looking for. Now the guys only have a thousandth of an inch tolerance when they're rolling these castings out to thickness. And the way they check this is, once they're almost down to where they need them to be, they'll bring one out of the oven, pass it through the mill, one of the guys will catch it with a set of steel tongs, and then they'll measure around the outside edge with a micrometer while it's still red hot. Now, these symbols have been rolled out to the proper thickness, they've been checked, the guys are going to take them out of the oven, spread them out on this steel table to let them cool, so then they can mark the center so they can put the cups into them. Now, after the symbols have been rolled out to the proper thickness, they've been cooled, we've marked the center so we know where to put the bells or the cups, they're placed in this oven. They're heated up to over 1,000 degrees, brought out one at a time, and passed over to a punch press. Depending on which model we're making, a ride or a crash, regular or rock, each one has a specific cup. The proper cup is stamped into the metal. It's then taken, spread out on the floor to cool before it goes to the tempering process. So it's the tempering that allows us to soften the metal up so that we can actually shape it to the form that we want. Now at this point, the blanks have been rolled out, we put the proper size bell in them depending on the model, but if you were to take one of these blanks and drop it on the floor, it would shatter like a piece of glass. The metal is that brittle. So in this operation, we're actually tempering or annealing the metal so we can work with it. Depending on the size and weight of the blank, it goes into this oven for a specific amount of time. At the end of that time, the guys will bring them out and drop them into this pit of water. 
and it's that rapid change in temperature that quenches or anneals the metal and uh, makes it so that we can work with it. Now the symbols go into the die on a hydraulic press in order to get their initial shaping. Now this press has approximately 70 tons of force on the ram. And again, pressing the symbol is we're looking for a basic shape, which is what he's checking for here using a template. Now for every model we have, every size, every series, there's a different template that we use to check these symbols at two or three different stages to make sure they're the proper shape. Now, Sabian is a very environmentally conscious company. I mean, we recycle everything humanly possible. Any metal at all that we use in our process is either bundled up and sent back to our supplier to be recycled, or we actually recycle it in our own foundry. And one of the things we do is in the foundry there's actually a part of the process that involves charcoal and because the molds are hand poured there is some spillage and a little runover. So this all gets collected up a couple of times a year and what we'll do is we'll have summer students come in and we separate the charcoal from the metal and recover every bit of it. This metal that we recovered is the same properties as the original alloy, it is the original alloy, so it can be reused to make new symbols. Um, the water that we use on our mills and in our tempering process is in an enclosed loop. It is filtered, all the impurities are taken out of it before it goes back to be reused. And again, even our furnaces run on propane, so there's no exhaust. And we do everything possible to recycle and not to have any type of a detrimental impact on our environment. Now after the symbols have been pressed, that is the A's or the AAX's, we need to give them a final shape. And this is achieved by hammering. These machines are the AA hammers. The symbol, after it's been pressed, looks like this. Cup is in it. Basic shape, but not quite there yet. Some of the sound. Now these machines can be set as to how hard they hit, how far apart these lines are, how far apart the hammer marks are, angle of attack so we can get more curve on the bow, whatever we need to achieve that final shape. Hi, I'm uh, Charlie Brown. I'm a master hand and hammer artist here for Sabian. I've been doing this job for uh, 25 years now. Uh, basically what I do is uh, shape the symbol using a, a hammer and anvil. Uh, not only the hammering gives it the shape, but it also adds to the tone of the symbol. Hand hammering was uh, kind of introduced to the uh, factory here, uh, probably back in the uh, early 70s, mid 70s. Uh, it originated from the uh, K. Zildjian plant in uh, Turkey, or in Istanbul. Uh, it was brought over and it stayed here uh, in our practice ever since. This here is a 22-inch Artisan Light ride. Uh, this is what it looks like before I start. The template is what I use as a guide to uh, find the shape. And, uh, this is one of the finished products here. This is what is brought up. So I can show you just a slight demonstration of how things go here. That's the 
general idea of what to do to get the shape and sound of the symbol. Uh, this type of symbol here is probably going to take me 35, 40 minutes to finish the product. Now, after the symbol's been hammered into shape, we need to take this black outer layer off, which is a tin oxide. We do this by lathing. First we lay the bottoms, as you can see here. Then we do the tops, which is what Allie's doing. Now lathing allows us to control the thickness, the taper, puts in the sound, total grooves, and that sort of thing. My name is Allie Kugel. I've been with Sabian for 20 years. And I've laid all of the 20 years. That's where I get my experience. What I'm doing here is uh, lathing. I'm taking the dark oxidized surface off the symbol and taking it to the proper weight of this model. As it might look easy to do, it takes years to master this craft. Every little groove in a cymbal will create a different sound. Since 2004, we started the vault tour, and it was started for the purpose of taking uh, part of the manufacturing to the people on the road, the people that could never have a chance to come to our factory. Uh, we have hundreds of prototypes, one-of-a-kind symbols we display, uh, also new product, as well as uh, hand hammering and lathing. Uh, we let people hand hammer. Uh, they normally don't do a professional job, but after the symbol's laid, it does sound better. It's a great company to work for, and we uh, make the best symbol in the world. The final step before the symbols go into the vault to be tested is the edging process. Up until this point, the symbols have been made slightly oversized, about a quarter of an inch. This allows us to work out past the final edge, it doesn't leave any tool marks after they're edged down to the proper size. Hi there, uh, my name is Lorenzo Wright. I'm a symbol tester for uh, Sabian Limited. I've been working in the vault here for the past nine years. We're testing not only for the sound, but we're looking for any flaws in the, in the symbol. Usually when I hit a symbol, like this particular symbol here, I'll spin it on my finger and look for warpiness. I'll turn it inside out and, and make sure the tension's there, make sure the, that it's not floppy in any manner for the drummers when they might hit them like this on their stands. Anything I have any doubts about, I'll get a second opinion. So I'll go to one of the other testers in the vault, and uh, they too will hit them, and if they determine uh, that they don't like the ones I don't like, then from that point we'll scrap that particular cast symbol, get it remelted, and, uh, and, and back into production. That way we're not losing any raw material. 
in comparison to one that I perhaps didn't care quite as much for, and I don't know if you can detect this, but. A lot darker, it's a lot darker, a lot deeper sound. So it's not just the sound that you can go by, you can take your eye and, and take a look at the symbol, and when you hit the symbol, uh, you can feel if the symbol is heavy on one side or if the symbol perhaps is warped. Um, I, I can tell a lot just by the, the feel of the symbol when I'm hitting it. It's not just the sound. My name is Mark Love. I'm a product specialist here at Sabian. Uh, my job is actually overseeing the, the testing and order selection. And uh, I guess one thing I'd like to stress about Sabian is the quality, the quality that we put into the product. As you can see here, we have cart after cart load of symbols and I'd like to stress what goes into getting them to this point. Each batch of symbols that come into the vault uh, is actually tested by one tester and anything that he may not like quality wise in that batch uh, we set it aside and we actually have it tested by somebody else to make sure that you know somebody isn't having an off day and that we're not throwing anything out that's actually good. And it actually works the other way also. All the good symbols that we keep, we put them through our coding and printing. And before they can go on the shelf to be sold to the customer, we actually have another tester's opinion on, on that batch of symbols. So every symbol that you buy is tested at least twice, maybe three times before it goes out the door. And that's something over the years that we think has really lifted Sabian to where it is today selling 50,000 symbols a year to now we're well over 800,000 symbols a year. And we think it's the quality and the innovation that we put into the product. Innovation is really a big part of Sabian also. I mean, the, the early years, we come out with the, the Roctagons. That was kind of a, you know, a step outward from our traditional crashes and rides. And, and, it, and it has grown from, from that to, to what you see today as far as our offering of models with the uh, HHX, the Evolutions, all the signature series we've done with uh, the likes of Chad Smith, Phil Collins, uh, you know, Carl Allen, Ralph Peterson, Jojo Meyer, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. And year after year, we're coming out with new and exciting products that's really carrying the, the Sabian name and showing the innovation that we're behind. This is uh, the famous Area 51. Uh, this is actually a room that we've set aside to put all our prototype symbols, things that we've worked on over the years with artists and actually a lot of symbols that we've developed ourselves that we really haven't found the time to introduce them yet or maybe it's just at a certain part of uh, the production stage and we're not 100% happy with them. But there's actually thousands of different symbols in here that aren't available to the, to the public at this time. Uh, things we're experimenting with on an ongoing basis. Uh, some of the symbols that you'd find in here are symbols that, that we've actually worked with with the, the likes of Zorro uh, and, and Chester Thompson. Uh, Zorro came to us looking for a, a ride symbol. He said if he was going to go to a gig and he only had a pair of hi-hats and a ride symbol, this would be the symbol that he would want. And we actually developed the Groove Ride, which is a, a symbol that has a great bell, great ride characteristics, and it's crashable. So it's a very versatile symbol. And we've also developed Prior to that, the Groove Hats, and at this time we actually have an ongoing project working on crash symbols for that line too. Uh, another person that's been here a number of times is, is Chester Thompson with Genesis, and Chester came here a number of years ago looking for a certain ride symbol, and we made him uh, a ride called the Precision Ride. It was a hand-hammered rock type symbol with great articulation with a uh, unique sound control lip. And then a few years later, he was looking for something to complement that ride symbol, and we designed the liquid ride, which is more of a medium version of the same symbol. And just recently, last summer, uh, Chester was here, and we actually made some crash symbols with especially thinned edges and Chinese symbols uh, to, to actually fit that setup. So over the years, you know, we've worked with many artists. Those are two that uh, come to mind that have been here recently. Also, we've had some huge projects with uh, Neil Peart from Rush. Uh, he came here two years ago and we developed the Paragon line. That was very in-depth and took many months of constant back and forth R&D until we achieved uh, what we have today. And uh, 
Another person that's actually done a lot of work with us is Dave Weckel. In 2001, we developed the Evolution series, which is one of our best-selling series. And it, it really lifted HHX to the level that it is today. Two years ago, we extended that to the HHX Legacy line. A little different taste, kind of the darker side of Dave's taste. And that's also very successful in doing well. And as you can see in front of me, maybe some odd looking uh, symbols here. This is something we're working on now for our PASIC introduction. And these are actually uh, what we're going to call choppers. It's, it's actually a combination of three different symbols locked together as one to give you a very articulate white noise type of sound. So as you can see, we're always striving for new and innovative products and you should see that year after year from Sabian. Okay, the printing department is uh, one of our few concessions to automation. Now these symbols have already gone through the initial testing and they've been accepted. They've come in here. They are marked as far as a designation, which is size and series. The logos go on and the uh, Sabian trademark is stamped into the metal. After this is done, they'll go back out into the testing room where a different tester than the original one We'll go through them again. What he likes, he keeps. What he doesn't like, he throws out, and we recycle. This is the final stop for the symbols before they're shipped out after they've gone through the entire manufacturing process, the testing, and everything else that goes into them. They come out here to the warehouse. Sabian does business in over 120 different countries. Today, we have orders waiting to be shipped out for Greece, Germany, Czechoslovakia, Russia, Brazil, and a number of other countries and different points within Canada and the U.S. Now this brings to an end our tour. I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, the Sabian Manufacturing Facility, and I hope you continue to enjoy our new and innovative products in the future.